Hello Capricorn, I'm here to, here to give you insight. This is going to be a mid-month reading, so we're going to take a look and see what's going on from now until December 31st. All right, let's see what's going on. And happy birthday, Capricorn. The December Capricorns. Okay, that was quite a bit to fill out. Be a lot going on. Okay, Capricorn from now until December 31st. So we have Six of Pentacles, the Lord of Success. This is Moon and Taurus. Some of you Capricorns could have a Moon and Taurus placement. Uh, you could also be dealing with a Cancer or, of course, uh, another Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Okay, but I see here with the Six of Pentacles, um, I see here that you are uh, experiencing success, okay, from now until the end of December. Okay, you could have been putting your time and energy into a project and now you're seeing the return, okay? Someone could be offering financial aid to you. Um, an, an opportunity presented itself. This is like an energy of like doing the work and then seeing the results here, okay? There also could be um, some focus on time and effort. Also, it could be, it has something to do with the relationship. I was hearing putting in that work. So you've been working really hard on something, Capricorn, I see. All right. I was hearing splitting my time between two people. Maybe there's focus on time and splitting your time, like time and effort. So there's a focus on that. And then we have the Ten of Wands. This is the Lord of Oppression. So some of you are putting in that work. You're working really hard, but it could be burdensome for you. You may feel oppressed. There's something that you're wanting to do or have been doing and it, it, it seems like it's been all on you you've been putting this work in all right um i was hearing exchange okay there could have been an exchange here capricorn and this exchange whatever this exchange was uh it created oppression it, it something this is Saturn and Sagittarius. So it's something that you did for some of you. Okay. This is not all of you. You could have exchanged something. Hopefully this wasn't like a drug deal or <laughs> not to go dark guys, but it's like that, like a, a drug deal and then getting caught, getting in trouble. Okay. It's something like that. It doesn't have to be a drug deal, but it was some type of exchange. Okay. It could have been, it could have been that you made a bad purchase. All right. Capricorn. That's for some of you. Um, but for others of you, you know, you've been putting in that work and you it's been all on you, but you're not giving up. You're continuing to move forward. I feel like also you're learning from this exchange, okay, or you're learning from this connection here and you're learning, you're learning a lot and you're recognizing the situation. You're seeing the reality of your situation, which could be burdensome, which can make you feel oppressed. All right. This could be as simple as, you know, maybe you're. Um, for some of you could pay in child support or paying, paying a fine or paying out something, but, but it's leaving you feeling oppressed in some type of way. That's for some of you, not all of you. Okay. But for others of you, you're just, you're just working really hard. It's all on you, you know, and then we have the queen of cups. So you can be dealing with a cancer Pisces or Scorpio. All right. Um, Capricorn. There is a, a, a water sign person here who really cares about you, Capricorn. All right. This person's uh, very intuitive to your needs. Like they, this is like a mothering figure as well. This can be a mother. Okay. Uh, some of you Capricorns could be going through some things. Okay, and this mother figure is here to provide relief, to provide some type of refuge, I see here. They're here to nurture you. They're here to cleanse you. 
they want to cleanse you. All right. I just keep going back to the Six of Pentacles because this is like an energy of someone giving their time and energy into something. Maybe you're giving your time and energy into something that does not serve you. You're giving your time and energy to something that leaves you feeling oppressed. For some of you, you may not even realize this because your head's down, all right? I was hearing you're getting your priorities straight. But anyways, with the Queen of Cups, this is somebody who wants to provide some relief to you. I also see this Queen of Cups as you, Capricorn. Your opposite sign is Cancer, all right? You could have water in your chart. So I see here, this is rejuvenation. This is... Um, feeling intuitive as well so for some of you capricorns you could be very intuitive at this time very in tune with your emotions or you're encouraged to get in tune with your emotions all right pour into yourself okay maybe you were giving a lot of your time and energy to something and not nurturing yourself not taking care of your emotional health. For some of you Capricorn, there could be an energy of escapism. You can escape through substance or just there's like an escapist type energy. There's an energy of not wanting to feel. Okay. So instead of you giving your money, time and energy to something that's leaving you oppressed, it's time to pour into yourself. It's time to invest in yourself. It's time to nourish yourself cleanse yourself as well and you can maybe do this maybe working with the water element for some of you all right but i i do see this queen of cups as a mother figure whether physical or spiritual this is like a mother fig figure here um i always i was also hearing goddess as well maybe you guys are working with i don't know a sea goddess or something not sure, i don't know for some of you <laughs> it's just the energy of that it's like this this figure is here to help to give you a sense of like nourishment in some way like to cleanse you okay to nurture nurture you to wash all of your worries away it's just an energy of this this can even be a guide for you okay like a spiritual guide Let's see what else is going on. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. Yes, this could be a family member, whether they're in the physical or on the spiritual side. So with the Ten of Pentacles, this is the Lord of Wealth. All right. For some of you Capricorns, you went through a difficult time, but you're feeling secure. You're seeing yourself as wealthy. And it's not just the material things like the money and the cars and the house and all the things you've accumulated. It's it's a feeling like you feel you feel wealthy you feel like you have all your needs met even though you may not have a lot of money you just feel like your needs are met okay this also talks about family some of you capricorns could be spending time with family of course you know the holidays are right around the corner this placement is mercury and virgo so you could have mercury and virgo placement all right. This could also be a desire. I feel like a cleansing needs to take place, Capricorn, or has taken place. And since it's taken place, you have arrived to this Ten of Pentacles. This is like reaping the rewards. Strong emphasis on rewards. Okay. I was hearing there's so much potential as well. Okay. We have two number tens here. It's like this oppression turned to the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you are really needed to focus on yourself. Maybe delegate if you need help, ask for help. I feel like if you ask for help, this person is going to be receptive or it's a call for you to be receptive to some type of help because you're for some of you, you're missing out on this Ten of Pentacles energy here. You're missing out on this. Okay, I was hearing getting your life in order. It could be a focus for you guys to get your life in order or some of you are needing to get your life in order. 
whatever that order looks like to you. Let's see what else is going on with Capricorn. Capricorn from now until the end of December. From now until the end of December. I feel like once you move past this Ten of Wands energy, once you take the initiative, I feel like there's opportunity waiting here. Okay. The Six of Pentacles keeps saying, make the effort, make the effort. You could be encouraged to make the effort or you have been making the effort. What else is going on with Capricorn? Capricorn, Capricorn. I was hearing a bad decision. Okay. Learn from your mistakes. That's important. We don't have to allow our mistakes to ruin us. We just learn from the mistakes and we move forward. We cleanse ourselves. Okay. This could be asking for forgiveness or releasing yourself from the guilt, from the burden, from the oppression, whatever's oppressing you. Something's oppressing you and you need to bring awareness to this. Okay, what else is going on with Capricorn? So we have the Tower, Mars, Aries, Scorpio, Energy, Cancer, the Chariot, the Hermit, Virgo, and then we have the Moon, four major arcana cards. What is going on? Okay, so the Tower, there's some major changes that need to take place or has taken place. There was a divine intervention, okay? The universe was like, uh-uh, we're not doing this. So there was a divine intervention for some of you or, or um, a change that you initiated, Capricorn. All right, this is sudden shock, sudden changes here. Some of you Capricorns, could have put an end to something or had this is like I'm hearing like flipping the script there was you were giving your time and energy to something and you decided to put an end to that all right you decided to change something here Mars is the planet of action desire and aggression okay this could have been uh being upset blowing your top all right. This is destroying uh, weak and weak foundations, destroying uh, what's no longer serving you. But also, like I said, it's, it could be blowing your top, getting upset about something. I also see this as like a surprise, like surprise. Okay, somebody could be coming to see you, surprising you, Capricorn. That's for some of you. Let's see what the tower card is. I just want to get some more insight on that. The tower card. The chariot could also talk about moving forward. Uh, cancer you could be dealing with. You could be dating someone of a different race, different background for some of you. All right. Um, I was hearing dodged a bullet. Some of you Capricorns uh felt like you dodged a bullet for some of you there was something that was very destructive something that was kind of chaotic that you didn't want to deal with anymore and so you decided to move forward ghosting this person whoever this person is all right and just you went into hermit mode here and it's like you're a mystery <laughs> it's it's weird capricorn for some of you it's like you're you fell off the face of the earth in a way or the face of the moon. <laughs> All right. This could have also been a sudden change. Okay. For some of you, there could be something going on with the vehicle. Sudden changes with the vehicle. Some issues with the vehicle. All right. What is this tower? Tower. What is this tower card? Tower, tower, tower. Tower. Your um, intuition is going to be very heightened during this time. Oops. So this is the card or Lord of Strength. All right. Some changes needed to take place in your life or needs to take place in your life. And it's going to acquire your strength. You're, you're encouraged to persevere. I feel like if you're not going to make these necessary changes, Capricorn, there will be a divine intervention intervention i'm hearing a cause and effect so just be really mindful of this 
it's, it's better for you to take the initiative to make the necessary changes instead of divine intervention, you know, because divine intervention, you know, it can be a shock for you. You know, it could be <laughs> uh, uncomfortable, you know, but necessary. All right. So that's for some of you. You could be dealing with a Leo Sagittarius Aries. You could have this in your chart. This is moon and Sagittarius. So you could have a moon and Sagittarius placement or dealing with someone who has this placement here. All right. Um, but there is change that's going to take place or you're encouraged to remain strong, to have strength during this change. Because I feel like uh, some of you Capricorns are going through some major changes. So it's going to require you to be strong, to persevere, to not be afraid. All right. I was hearing get a backbone. All right. And so once you are able to stand the rain, okay, then we're moving over to the chariot. You're moving forward. All right. You're getting back in the driver's seat. You're getting back on course. Or you're encouraged to do so. This may even be a call for you to cooperate or to be or to compromise. As well, maybe a call for you to compromise, especially if you're working with others and they're trying to help you move forward. Or there is there seems to be an energy of someone who who is supportive. So if somebody's supportive of you, it may be a call for you to compromise. You know, and I feel like the support supportive energy is coming from a spouse or a partner. Okay, it's like a relationship partnership type of energy. So if you're receiving support, it's a call for you to compromise. All right. For some of you, it's going to be a call for you to do that. Just to get on the same page and move forward. And then the hermit here, I feel like a lot of you are going to be doing some introspection from now until the end of December. Disconnecting from social media, you could be encouraged to do so. You see the hermit, she's closing down the laptop. All right. Some of you may be opening the laptop so you could um, be doing some research, looking up some information. All right. What kind of information are you looking up, Capricorn? All right. I was hearing like trauma. I was hearing trauma. So some of you could be doing some research on how to heal in some type of way. Or encourage to do research on how to heal, um, like finding resources. All right. You can also be looking up like readings, tarot readings, like you're, you're <laughs> um, I was hearing like the unknown, like you're trying to get some information, like you're trying to discover something. You're trying to bring something to light. Okay. But I do see that you're going to be spending some time in isolation, not isolation, but solitude for some of you. Others of you, it could turn into isolation. So be very careful with that. Be mindful of your mental health. What is the Hermit and the Moon card? Hermit and the Moon. Hermit and the Moon. Marry these cards. Hermit and the Moon. This is like strong psychic energy. I'm getting here strong occultic energy seven of wands. This is the Lord of courage. All right. Some of you are needing to do some soul searching. This is um, Mars and Leo energy or placement. So you could have this in your chart. I think I said you could be dealing with the cancer as well. So you're, near, you're needing to have courage. There's just something that you're needing to, you're needing to like look within. And I feel like you need to cut out the distractions, set some healthy boundaries so you can heal. There's a need to really heal and to go within. And you're needing to set some healthy boundaries. For some of you, it could be a call for you to keep people at bay so you can work on your healing. All right. You don't just move on and everything's hunky-dory. You have to stay on top, okay? You have to continue to, to, to elevate. 
All right, because it's an energy of someone saying, okay, I made it through this issue. Now I can just relax. No, it's a process. It's work. Okay, this healing doesn't just take, you're not just healed overnight. It's going to take some work here. So you're going to have to have the courage to put in that work. Set some healthy boundaries. Okay. Um, what else am I seeing here with the Hermit, Moon, and Seven of Wands? This is also just putting people at bay, like pushing people away. I see this here as pushing people away. And it took a lot of courage to do that, but it was necessary. There's something you're needing to work on, Capricorn. And there, I feel like there's some healing that needs to take place in the family, within your family here. Okay. Um, hmm. All right, let's see what else we got going on. We're going to take a look at your sacred wealth code. And your sacred wealth code is a code that's going to help bring prosperity and abundance in your life. And then I'm going to be using another deck. The Earthly Souls and Spirits Oracle. Let's see what message we have for Capricorn. I was hearing facing your fears. I was hearing fear of not being successful. There's an energy of that. You got to get rid of that fear. Okay, let's see. Capricorn. Capricorn, we have purposeful. Okay, so maybe a call for you to be more purposeful. During this time, move forward with purpose. Move forward with intention. Um, I also feel like some of you Capricorns feel like you're living in your purpose. You're doing what's right for you. There is a purpose. There is a reason um, behind your actions. And this is from a positive light. So let's see what uh, it says here. Purposeful. The keywords are intention, discover, complete. Discover who you are. Listen to your inner voice. Know who you were created to be. I love that. So I feel like really taking that time out in solitude will definitely help you discover who you were meant to be or created to be. There's so much potential, Capricorn, I see around you. So much potential here. Right. And we're going to take a look and see what your sacred wealth code is. We're going to pick the 10th card for Capricorn. 10th card for Capricorn. Capricorn, you could be dealing with someone who is um, a little bit hot tempered. For some of you, you need to stand up for yourself when it comes to this person. The tower card kept telling me Scorpio. All right. Doesn't have to be, but for some of you. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, the muse, Venus. Venus is the planet of love, beauty, and art. So maybe connecting with Venus to bring about prosperity and abundance in your life. It says, I inspire and I am inspired. Keywords are intuitive, inspired, idealistic, creative, divinely connected, passionate, emotional, sensitive. Okay. And then we're going to take a look at... Additional messages here. We're going to pick four cards. Four cards for Capricorn. Four cards. Capricorn, Capricorn, four cards. Oh, wow. These just decided to fly out and I'm just going to go with it. Okay. Focus on security. Your focus on security, Capricorn, or the person maybe you're dealing with. Maybe you should be focused on uh, security. Okay. Racing thoughts. There's some racing thoughts that you're having. 
for some of you. Thinking about you or them. So someone could be thinking about you or you're thinking about the other person. Victory over enemies. So you have victory over your enemies, Capricorn. And I see this with the seven of wands. And then we have paranoia. Oh, so there could be some paranoia, some some paranoia, paranoid thoughts, paranoid thoughts, excuse me. And this goes hand in hand with the paranoia and racing thoughts here. So there could be something that you're doing that could cause this paranoia. All right. It could be substance. All right. Because the moon does uh, talk about that sometime. It's Neptune. All right. It is, the, it is the moon. Actually, no, no, no. I lied. Neptune is hangman. Excuse me. But the moon, I mean, it could talk about uh, addiction as well as substance. So you could be doing something, you know, that could cause paranoia. So just be mindful of this, Capricorn. Take care of your mental health. Change what is no longer serving you. But keep in mind, it's going to take your strength to initiate this. But you can do it. If anybody can do it, you can. It's time to no longer be oppressed. All right. So this is the end of your reading, Capricorn. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month. And God bless.